Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's Variety Spotlight, we're going to be talking about a very cool pepper called Shashito. This is an incredibly productive pepper. Look at this, just loaded. Really, really nice. So when fully ripe, they do turn red, but they're harvested at this younger stage when they turn kind of a light lime, pale green is when they're good for eating fresh or sauteed, they're a popular appetizer. They're served just simply blistered with olive oil and salt, and very tasty. They're, the full name of this pepper is Shishi Togarashi, and that translates from Japanese, Shishi is lion and Togarashi head of, and it refers to the tip of the pepper apparently looking like the head of a lion. I don't see it personally. It looks more like a turtle. <laughs> it doesn't look like a lion to me, but anyway, that's where the name comes from. Shishi Togarashi, and it's shortened to Shishito. Another interesting thing about this pepper is apparently like one in every ten peppers is very spicy. Otherwise, they are very mild and sweet flavored but I guess randomly you get a spicy one occasionally. Super productive, I have four plants growing. You saw the one in the container, these two are in our lower bed, and we have one in our upper bed here. This one's a little harsh, but equally loaded with delicious peppers, ready to go. So this is a great pepper variety. Out of all the ones we're growing, these are the first and most productive, the first to really fruit. So they are definitely a winner in my book. I got the seeds from Baker Creek, so pick them up, grow some yourself. We're going to do a taste testing and we're going to do it the right way. We're going to cook them with a little olive oil and salt. All right, so let's have a taste. Well, I decided I'll let you join in on the fun of harvesting them. So we got a nice little one here. So it does turn a little bit more like a lime green when it's ready to be harvested. Can't really tell the difference that well, but this is a little bit darker, you see. So that's kind of when you know they're about ready. And that's about three inches long. So we're gonna just snip. doing this one-handed, so I'm just letting them drop, but it's all right. Take three from this plant. And take one of these guys, I put this one. Don't want to take them off, they look so cool. But of course, we're going to. <laughs> All right, we have five peppers. Let's go cook them up. All right, so they're that simple. Just a little bit of oil with some salt. And look at that, beautiful. All right, here's your taste test. Wow. Dang, really good flavor. 
kind of smoky. Nice mild pepper flavor. It has like a real complex flavor. Kind of hard to describe. I gotta try another one. Mmm. A little char on the skin gives it a nice flavor. It's real soft. There's like no seeds. I mean, there's obviously seeds, but just cooked for a few minutes on the stove like that, they're totally cooked out. Or they're made really soft, easy to eat. Just eat the whole thing. Wow, so good. I'm actually not a huge fan of bell peppers. But that is just terrific. Oh my gosh. So that's three of them. All of them mild, sweet. No hot peppers yet. Man. Guys, that's a winner. You can totally grow them yourself. You can be eating these as a snack whenever you want. Dang, so good. Alright, let me just see. Maybe this will be the hot one. Nope. Okay, that's it, guys. Man, that is such a winner. Grow shishito peppers. Enjoy them yourselves. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.